Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Nivedita Kaudi, MBBS from Makura Shamiloni Medical College and Hospital. Currently, I am doing my internship in the same hospital. As you approach the end of your MBBS course, it is crucial that you have the right resources so that you can excel in your studies as well as in future medical practice. Final year MBBS is the year when you have to study giant subjects like medicine, surgery, gyneops, pediatrics and some minor subjects like dermatology, psychiatry, radiology, orthopedics, anesthesia in a time frame of less than one year. In market, n number of books are available but you can't buy them all. Even if you can buy, you can't read all of them. In my today's video, I will suggest those books of final year MBBS which I have read myself. Let's start with medicine, a subject with endless syllabus. For medicine, the so-called reference book is the Harrison's Principles of Internal Medicine. The book comes in two volumes. But if you are starting to read medicine in your final year only, then I will never advise it. And the same happened to me as well. I bought the books in the end of my third year and it became impossible for me to read from it. If you really want to read a foreign author's book, you can try Davidson. Here is the book. For me, I started with Davidson but even after reading two or three chapters, I did not find it interesting. It was like an essay book and retention was also very less for me. Obviously this may not be the same for you but this is my personal experience. And then I shifted to another book titled Exam Preparatory Manual for Undergraduates Medicine by Dr. Archit Balur Sar. This book was really really very helpful for me. It explains complicated topics in a very lucid manner and apart from this book sir explains some topics on white army youtube channel in a case based discussion manner which are also very helpful if you take my advice then i will definitely suggest you to go for it if you are making notes for your university exam then you can also take help from dr aru kundu's book this book is primarily for practical exams and in West Bengal, most of the teachers want to hear answers from this book during practicals. But for some question of theory part, you can take help from it. For me, I personally used it like the differential diagnosis and causes at least it very well. If I talk about myself, I'm never satisfied with a single book. Until I make my own notes with amalgamation from different resources I have, I don't feel happy. I made my medicine notes mainly from Balur and Aru Kundu. These are my notes. Some other books are also available like Kumar and Clark's Clinical Medicine, Matthew, but I never read them. Let's move on to surgery books. For surgery, Bailey and Love is the reference and gold standard book. You can see this book also comes in two volumes. This is volume one and this is volume two. I started with it and completed some chapters like breast, thyroid, etc. The book is too good, but I had to take help from another book. As in some cases, I found it difficult to write answers of university questions because I may have a lot of knowledge, but until I'm able to consolidate it and write it on my answer paper, my knowledge will never be appreciated. For that purpose, I relied on a service book. This is the A service manual of surgery. The topics are explained in a pointwise manner, which is actually very useful for retention. And also the book is loaded with a lot of diagrams, which can help you score better in your theory. In West Bengal, Quest is also available. This book contains answers of previous year questions of university exam. Though the answers are written very lengthy, this book is also a very good companion. For my own notes, I compiled the answers from SRP, Quest and Marrow notes. For surgery, some read Manipal's manual of surgery also, but I never used it. You can definitely try it. Let's talk about pediatrics books. For pediatrics, Opikai's book is the one which everyone reads. This is the Opikai's Essential Pediatrics. 
This book is like a story book. When you start reading, you eventually continue it because the topics are written sequentially. Pediatrics Quest is also a gem. Even if you don't read Kai's textbook, but you read the quest carefully, you can definitely score well in your exam. The answers are written very good here. For Gynae and Ops, many use Saw's textbook. But I didn't. I read the subject entirely from Datta's textbook. You can see this is the gynecology book and this is for obstetrics. And I made my notes from Datta's textbook, our quest and from marrow notes. William's book for obstetrics is the reference book. But if you follow marrow or any other teaching platform, then you don't have to read it separately. For the minor subjects, I did not read separate books except for orthopedics. I did them from marrow and a quest. For dermatology and psychiatry, I read some topics from Balur's medicine book and for orthopedics, Maheshwari's book is very famous. In West Bengal, many follow the book written by Dr. Koshik Banerjee. This is all for today. If you found my video helpful, then subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.